attempting to take a bus to another little town to check out the beach there but we don't really know the bus system so we're just looking for buses that will take us there it's quite the adventure I've been just relaxing and catching up on sleep from a long sail. It's been a cool little place to be able to surf and Skylar's been surfing some as well. Uh, we also have some friends here so just been hanging out on the beach, walking around the town, getting some palettas and enjoying what mainland has to offer. Pretty cool place. We will move on soon to actually head into Puerto Vallarta. Engine's off and we're cruising. We got like 15 knots of wind at like a 90 degree angle. Our friends are up there ahead of us. We're catching up to them because we're faster, of course. And uh, I tried to put the main out. <clears throat> Forgot that I had double reef in it from our crossing that I never shook out. So, uh, but head sails up, we're doing about six knots. Cruising along, we're only going eight miles. So it's a race. Cortez dirty bash so I'm enjoying the sail today. Well it doesn't get much better than this doing five and a half knots downwind sailing at like a 120 degrees got our buddies right over here off our shoulder headed to a new spot it's beautiful out here and it's smooth sailing I love it oh yeah we're kicking their butt if this was an actual race we're winning windy here in the afternoon and this new guy has had quite the cluster and we just noticed his dinghy floated away out there so Jeremy's trying to rescue it for him I don't think he has any clue oh he tied it yeah do you remember our paddle floated away our paddle floated away and dad had to save it huh yeah. wow he's hopping <laughs> Wee. Wild out there. <laughs> it's waves. Yeah. You ripping off your birthday chain? I'm just doing it myself. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, let's see it. Do it again. Happy 
Well, we just left La Cruz. We met some really awesome people, other families with kids, so that was a lot of fun, but not really my jam there at that town. Uh, just crowded and not really my thing, but we're gonna head back to Punta de Mita to get some surfing in for a few days before heading south to Tenacatita. I have heard that that is the place to be for the winter time. So we're gonna meet up with all of our friends down there probably the end of this week, but we're gonna get a few more days of surfing in before we do that. This escalated, we turned the corner and it's uh, blowing 23 knots and we're surrounded by whales. So I'm bobbing and weaving the whales, trying to get the uh, three more miles to Punta de Mita. Pretty wild. We made it. I surfed and now we're on our friend's boat to have some dinner. It'll be a good night. Is that you? Oh, I thought what? that was you. I thought you said, hum. No. <laughs> Damn seagulls. <laughs> Skyler's feeding the seagulls. <laughs> We're about to pull up the anchor and head south. We've been in this area of uh, La Cruz and Punta de Mita for like three weeks, which is plenty. And uh, we're excited to head south out and around this point and get to some spots that cruisers say is like, you know, prime cruising for this area. So it's gonna be an overnight because we're doing 90 miles. So we're leaving right now about 5.30 p.m. And uh, yeah, we'll just go all night, see if there's any wind out there. And we should be in a beautiful anchorage come mid morning tomorrow, hopefully. It's a bit gray out here, but uh, rain's in the forecast uh, within a couple days or so. It's been kind of stormy, cloudy. Not too much wind though, and we kind of planned it a little bit this way because the point that we have to go around can localize wind. So if it says it's gonna be, from what I heard, if it's gonna be like 10 or 15, it might be double that right there at the point. So then if it's gonna be 20, it could be 30, 40 uh, around the point. So we looked for a weather window that was light enough wind that it shouldn't be too crazy out there. And for the small stretch going around the point, we should be totally okay, is the thought. We'll see when we get out there. We're 30 miles away, so maybe uh, you know five or six hours. We're not in a rush. We're gonna hit it in the middle of the night when the wind is supposed to be the calmest, and that should give us the best chance to get out and around the point without getting beat up too bad. Well, it's morning time. Overnights are always crazy because uh, it was pitch black last night. No moon, clouds, so no stars. The uh, only thing I had was we're buddy boating with our friends, so their boat was a couple miles ahead of us and I could see their light the whole time. That was the only glimpse of hope out there in a dark, dark world. But the wind was, uh, it wasn't bad. It was all over the place. <clears throat> We went around the point and the wind was actually fairly light, just like predicted, so that was really nice. Nothing too surprising uh, as we made the turn around the point. Then once we were running downwind, we actually had a decent amount of wind behind us. It was it was pushing, you know, 10 to 12 knots and I uh, turned the engine off for about four and a half hours or so and I was flying the Code Zero, which I don't have any shots of because it was pitch black outside. But it was dead downwind and it kept like switching which side of the boat that it was it was going on. So I kept having to roll in the code zero and roll it out on the other side and roll it back in and roll it out on this side. But at least it kept me awake all night. Um, every time I would get tired, the wind would shift. So I would kind of change the sail and that would wake me back up, get me all hot and sweaty again. So that wasn't too bad. I didn't get much sleep. Skylar was on Geneva all night because it was a little bumpy out here. So. Uh, she likes to cuddle up with mama when it's when it's really uh, bumpy and um, I just did a couple naps and made it through the whole night. So we're about 10 miles out should be there about midday. Yeah. I saw another boat. 
You saw Steve's boat though too? No. There was one with a black sail. No, I saw an, I saw another boat. Yeah. I saw another sail. We've made it to Chamela and now we're gonna go explore. There's some islands right off here we're gonna dinghy to, maybe hike around or go swimming. We'll check it out and then we'll head into town and see what they got to offer. Pelicans don't take a day off just because it's raining. They still gotta eat. I'm probably gonna go hang out inside. <laughs> it's a rainy day schedule. We got lots of rain, clean boat, but Skylar the weirdo thinks it's the best time to play outside on the deck. Are you hanging out in the rain? That's so cool. You brought dolphin, huh? I brought dolphin, too. Dolphin enjoying the rain? Yeah, he likes this he looks. Oh, look, what's on there? Since there's an endless amount of fresh water, I'm going to soap up the boat and let the rain wash all the soap off and hope that we end up with a very clean boat. It has been a long time since this boat has had like a proper fresh water rinse, so. It's kind of nice that it's raining. We haven't had rain in the two seasons we've been doing this. This is a nice change up. It's not really raining hard enough uh, to pick up the dirt really, or the sand. So I now have a soapy, sandy, dirty boat, but I'll uh, try to sweep up all the dirt and grossness when it stops raining. We ended a long, stormy, rainy day with a beautiful sunset to enjoy dinner by. Well, the storm is gone and it's super nice out now. It's supposed to be a really good week. We are actually gonna head out. We're headed south another 30 miles. Woo! 